UCR now. Just trying to uh, show you how the uh, car stand uh, works for uh, mobile operations if you want to set up a temporary mass system for a vertical antenna. So this is a, a mild steel uh, stand which I manufactured. This goes under the car tire for counterweight. And then you have a 50 mm telescopic uh, aluminum tube that goes into it. And this is uh, retractable with pins. I'll show you uh, in a short while uh, how we mount the mast on this. Uh, yeah, you can continue to position with the plunger pin and so that this doesn't separate. Traditional pin lock. For this is the final segment of the uh, antenna, the bottommost element, uh, which is also locked in using this uh, pins, uh, lock pins from China, quick release lock pins from China. At the bottom of this, where the feed point is, is the ground plane antenna. This is uh, manufactured by uh, Victor Uniform 2 uh, Lima for Uniform Lakshman. And uh, this particular uh, ground plane antenna, the feed point impedance here is about uh, 35 ohms. And uh, this is fed into a coaxial cable, uh, either uh, uh, 213 or uh, RG8 with the uh, impedance of 50 ohms. Then we have a dielectric material here which goes into the temporary mast I made. So this, there is no conductivity between the mast and the antenna. This locks into the final uh, element and uh, the antenna is ready which I will show you shortly. Attach uh, carbiners with uh, paracord to the top of the bottom element uh, just to guide the mast so that uh, if there is a severe wind it doesn't fall off. So this is the dielectric which prevents it from coming in contact with the aluminum mast and then we have uh, this can go up to this particular thing can itself go up to 35 feet but we're just using two elements so take it roughly uh, up to 6 plus 6 12 feet uh, elevated uh, feet point so this can go up there So this way it's locked quickly, this way it's locked quickly with uh, pins and now we have the feet point at about roughly uh, 12 feet above ground. And then you have the radius which are again 16 feet in length, 4 radius which are banged into the ground. And the guy wires again. That means you should have a correct earth. That is correct. Impedance of the feed point is uh, 35 ohms into a 30 ohms uh, coax. Earth for what, sir? What is it? Where is the antenna connection? I connected, sir. That's why he sang that line, sir. That's he wouldn't have otherwise. Yeah. So, oh. Who am I to know his ex-mail is not here? No. And uh, uh, another round of congratulations is to old man VO3 UCR becoming VO2 UCR. So, oh, thank you. I think uh, probably one of the fastest. Uh, yeah. After getting his call sign, somebody was uh, upgraded to general category. I think he's one of the fastest. Uh, and, uh, I still uh, took two and years he's to been sitting. Huh? I still took two no, years but, to get there, but, <laughs> but still, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I've been there for 25 years. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your uh, son, he's also. Harman. Harman. have seen across <laughs> India. They say, why do you want to be a bandar? Why do you want to be a bandar? Why do you want to be a bandar? I've heard a lot of this on air. You will have always, but don't worry. Forget about that. No, my reply has always been, till I can till I can climb, I will climb. Then I will also sit in the shack when I can't climb. If you are only operating from home, somebody will say, why are you warm? You can't come from there. Next one. That will also be there. Aluminum pipe. And then the pipe in pipe, I...
figured out how to get it done and uh, since the OD uh, and ID gaps were a lot, I made uh, nylon bushes first and then teflon bushes later. Got it machined in a lathe shop in uh, Pina where the OD of the bush matches the ID of the bottom pipe. And the ID of the top part of the bush, uh, the stub, matches the uh, OD of the bush matches the ID of the top element. So that way I was able to get, in fact this uh, orange telescopic uh, mask is, um, is that glass or? No, it's aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum tube, powder coated. And I made it for a height of almost uh, 40 feet. So, right now I'm using only two sections, it's at about 12 feet. So, that can actually go to the height of the uh, antenna itself, the orange part, if I telescope it out. And it has got a pulley on top with a hook where I can either tie uh, inverted V antenna and bring it down, or my. I've, I've used it a lot for my G5 RV antennas. And in this case, uh, at uh, 12 feet, feet point, I uh, put the 17 foot, uh, 20 meter tube in tube uh, antenna and uh, the impedance okay, 40 feet height. Uh, why are you using two different this ones? No, the, this the mast I made only to get my antenna up to 40 feet where there is no tree or like in uh, some desert. Okay. When I operated, I had um, kilometers of desert okay. with nothing to throw an antenna up. Hmm. So this came in my backup truck okay. and I took the orange mast up to 40 feet hmm. and I hung a G5 over there okay. and I got the whole of North India on 40 meters from there, including Belgaum. So, so that itself so. could have acted as an antenna, no? No, huh. it cannot because uh, I've got uh, Teflon spacers in between okay. and I've basically made it only to be a uh, mast for me, not an antenna. So if you remove the Teflon mast and then put a you can, uh, you can, you can, there. You can do that, huh. you can do that if you want, but I've not done that. This so, was purely a mass project for okay. me, which now I've doubled it and used only half of it hmm. to elevate my feet point for the 20 meter and put a 20 meter uh, vertical on plane antenna. So maybe next time probably you can have a separate set of metallic spacers. Yeah, so. but I'm happy with this right now. You you know. This 20 meter, uh, besides this, I also have a commercial one from uh, Taiwanese company. Okay. That takes less than 5 minutes to install. It's a low profile tripod hmm. with a telescopic mast which is 33 inches. It goes to 17 feet. Gives me one is to one. Anywhere, I've tried it in five places. I think, uh, so, really, if I can do something better to make it uh, more 40 meter also, please uh, 40 meter give us the inputs, Madhu. For DX, it's always 20 and above. Yeah, correct. 40 meters, it's always 9. Yeah. It's only rare that you know you will be able to cross uh, Europe. Yeah. So, 40 meters, my personal opinion, personal N opinion. NVIS, as they say. NVIS or whatever it is, my personal opinion. Don't put too much of an effort for a long uh, this thing. For that 40. is exactly what I was told. So I just stuck to 20 much meters. Of an effort if you are going for a, uh, this thing, okay, the amount of energy that you will put for a 40 meters, of course, you know, it is also got its own uh, beauty when it opens up. So don't put so much of an effort because it lagging around is going to be a. This there is one? A, <laughs> no, not uh, not much effort. What you have, Ari, is yeah. absolutely is uh, enough. This is for practical a because meters. even no, no. I alone, without what anybody with me, at night you will be staying at uh, your uh, that campsite yeah. wherever you go. Yeah. Day daytime you operate yeah. 20 uh, and uh, NVS and all. Yeah. Okay. 40 opens after 10 p.m. If you are at any place, yeah. what you have to do is just connect that piece and the upper piece with the jumper. You are having the aluminium tube already. Yeah. Wherever the section is there. Put a jumper to this and make that radial ground. Okay. You are you are already having 40 feet, uh, 33, 30 feet height. Another three feet That's length is idea. enough. I can try that next yeah. time. It is it amazing works. antenna for that because you already have this uh, setup. You just have to so put two jumpers. So short the 20 meter element and the bottom of the yeah. stand. Yes. That's it. And wherever you have put the teflon, now there also you start. And, and feed, okay. feed yeah. will be at the and bottom. don't expect 40 dx during the day yeah. till nine, uh, 10 o'clock. Okay. 10 p.m. After sunset. Okay. After sunset. Before sunrise. Before sunrise, use this, uh, you will get uh, Europe. The only reason why we can't make a completely uh, uh, telescopic uh, mask for 40 meters is because commercially available tubes, the ODID, uh, there's almost a 5mm, 8mm uh, play. So unless I put a spacer like that to prevent it from shaking, I cannot have it uh, telescoping. Then I will give you so, another idea. Take a fiberglass fishing Fiber. rod, Yeah. put a wire onto it, Yeah. and see again, hook it onto the last the size that you will get fiberglass is 5 meters in India. Five Anything meters. above 5 meters, 
goes triple fold <laughs> three times the fast. He already yeah. has a yeah. 5 meter and now you can do the for no, there is a the, the processor was off, I just switched it on. Just want to check uh, what is the difference and it's not QRP RAM, it is right now on 8880. 8880. QSL RAM? 8.8 power power over. Okay, 80 watts, Roger. 88 watt RAM, QSL. Uh, negative RAM because it is uh, currently tuned for 20 meter. It's a vertical with uh, all the radials. Otherwise, it will be a loss because if you tune into other bands RAM. GRM with 3 TB over. Uh, Roger Ram, you are very very loud and clean. 5 7 here. 5 7 over. Again, again, your voice will coming continuously. Perhaps your power supply is dripping the good. QSL, QSL Ram, yeah, the power is going down to 11.6 now. Yeah, Ram, you are coming 5 7. 5 7. QSL? Roger, Roger. Okay, QSL, your power supply is still ready. Okay, as you are talking, the thing about the dripping, I couldn't make what I could think there. I think the dripping is happening at my end there. I think my dripping is happening at my end. Not to the power, but to some setting there. Very strange there. Very strange there. QSL, QSL, Ram, copy that. You are very strong, stable here, 5.7, 5.7, no problem. Thank you, Ram, and uh, I may not be visiting you while back because I got that uh, winding wire from here, Ram. QSL. Roger, Roger. Fine there, Rajesh. Take your time, 73. Bye-bye, all of you. Bye-bye. Kiosa, ma'am. Thank you very much for coming in. And uh, we'll catch up later. 73. Bye-bye. Yes, this was a good morning today for the BARC monthly meeting where uh, we demoed the 20-meter uh, portable vertical antenna, front line antenna uh, by VU2 LA, uh, LAU Lakshman. And also how I have uh, slightly modified it to use it in my quota and mobile operations using a, a car as a counterweight for the stand and uh, telescoping uh, uh, 20 meter 17 foot antenna using uh, quick release pins. So it was a nice afternoon today and a small video capturing the whole event today for you guys to look at it. Uh, this is VU2 UCR signing off uh, 73 and have a lovely Sunday guys. Bye bye.